tonight and he's so comfortable in the striking realm it's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading a right oh it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress i know when you're in kickboxing range you are in the fire there is no safety you're right in range to be getting knocked out but he does not fear that he loves it he loves the he loves the combat he loves the engagement but what you have to understand this is not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight, but there aren't that many guys who are gonna wanna stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 151 pounds. Fighting out of Modesto, California, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, his accuracy is unbelievable. Well, 
perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. And he landed the right hand there. They're certainly getting after it early. What a tricky head kick. What a punch. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Got clip for the right hand. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, and he caught the kick. And they separate. Back to the leg kick now, that one's no good. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. A real sneaky head kick gets in there. And they separate. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big leg kick lands. Comes in close, controls his opponent's posture, and lands these nasty elbows. Hands higher, hands higher. Straight punch lands. Attempt, unable to find the target. Lee's kick to the body here. That one appeared to be blocked. It's very tricky when he throws that body. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. with the left hook. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Oh, he lands a huge move to the body. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Round two winding down. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. Step out of it. You're taking too much damage. You have to start defending yourself, or I'm going to stop the fight. you got to keep your hands up. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their... Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go we'll get him. Well, he...
he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relatives. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Just over three minutes to go now. It's such a fast leg kick. Nice straight punch. Over and over, he's fighting behind these beautiful leg kicks. Lee's head kick looked like that one was blocked. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Oh, and he caught the kick. Lee gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Liver kick. Try to establish that jab. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice punch lands over the top. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Lee gets caught by that straight hand. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Can't take many of those, you better check. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Good stick. Caught the kick. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Also, oh, the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast. And he, oh, he oh, just hurt him. He just hurt him. Kick blocked. Good punch, land. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Ten seconds remain in round two. Big power shot there. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. 
All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. And they separate. Lanza, glancing right hand upstairs. Another punch to the head. Cable inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Ooh, blocks the shot. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Flick they continue to exchange. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. What a body kick. Big punch lands to the middle. Real sneaky body kick. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finishing. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Nice leg kick land. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's Look really like it did on a little bit. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head of the clip. Kick lands for him there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit. But this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Cat and mouse. You got to play cat and mouse. Hit and don't get hit. He does a great job of that. Oh! He's a coach. He's hurt bad. Landing on both sides here. Over and over, he's landing with big body kicks. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Some fighters shy away from. Whoa! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Might have landed there instead. A swing and a miss by Lee. Oh, 
he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Look at him flip his hip into that kick. Waning seconds here of round number three. Who splits the guard, lands the right hand. That's three oh, rounds God. in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat. Both with good resting heart rates, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fighting. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Uh, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. That's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, straight right. Less than three minutes remain in round four. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Back and forth we go. Nice sneaky head kick. Nice punch in there. Inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Whoa! He wiped him out. Play. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. We go back inside the octagon for the official decision. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 56 seconds of round number four. Going to win by knockout, Bruce.
the Dragon Lee. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations.